Hey friends, welcome to my channel, Adia Sherelle. Today I'm going to teach you how to do these beautiful butterfly locks. But girl, it's an asymmetrical bob. Honey, I am in love. I say that every time, but I am. I can't help it. I'm a hopeless romantic when it comes to my hair. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, Adia Sherelle, and you can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Mm -hmm. Hey, so I just wanted to show you all the parts and the size so you can make sure the foundation of your butterfly locks look perfect. So this is the size. I'm doing some chunky locks. Give me there. Okay. And then this is the back. And if any of them are like stretching out as I as um I start to wrap them, you can easily just fold it up like so and then put a rubber band to make it shorter all right so let's get into it just to give you guys an idea of the texture this is the hair that I use is um, spring twist hair so any hair that has this type of texture this type of curl pattern to it you're in business first we will start out by just unraveling that coily spring twist hair. Next, go on ahead and grab that crochet needle. You wanna slide it right through the base of your braid or twist. Take that spring twist hair, loop it through the end of the crochet needle, and then just slide it on through. I'm going to show you this in real time. I'm not gonna speed it up, so we could do it together, friend. So go ahead and grab one end, hold it against the twist, and with the loose end, start to wrap right at the base and you're working your way down to the end. Tip, you want to make sure that you wrap the hair pretty loosely. You want the locks to be flexible after you're done. You don't want them to be um, too stiff. So keep on wrapping kind of loosely all the way down to the end. Once you make your way to the bottom, you want to take that loose end and you want to flip it up, turn it upside down, and you start to wrap the hair back up the lock. And again, you're still wrapping fairly loosely. And what you'll start to see happen is you'll start to get that cute, chunky, boho, distressed looking lock that you want that will give it the whole butterfly lock appearance. And you may run out of hair just like I did and I'm going to show you how to just add more so you could keep wrapping the rest of the way. So literally you just <laughs> put it right on top and start wrapping. It's as simple as that. Hey YouTubers, I'm taking over Adia Sherelle. Come closer. This so. is not being recorded, recorded. It is. No, you can't add this on here. Hi everybody, I'm in my jammies. <laughs> and the great thing about this style, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to feel like, oh my gosh, you know, I need to be a professional to do this. Nope, not at all. You're just wrapping and it's supposed to look nice and messy. It gives it the look that you want. And it will be so cute and you'll be proud of yourself. But let's just keep going. So I don't go all the way up to the base um, just because I want it to be chunkier as it goes down. And you see at the end I'm just really loosely wrapping it. I just do it really quickly and that's it. This is me in my natural habitat acting a fool. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, so let me show you how to do and form the asymmetrical bob. So you want the back to touch the top of your shoulder. Near the ear, you want it to go down to your collarbone. And right at the front, you want it to go past the collarbone. Okay. Okay, here I am at the end of the lock. You see me 
comparing it to the locks around it because I wanted to make sure it falls exactly where it needs to. Oh gosh, again. Okay, girl. <laughs> so I am showing an example of another piece. And right here, once I got to the top, the hair that I was wrapping with was a little too thick. So I just got some shears to thin it out a bit. Then also how to fix a lock if it's too thick or chunky at one place. You could just wrap hair around it and then roll it up and there you have it. As you see with this lock I'm near the ear so it goes to the collarbone. Next you will see me doing the most favorite part of this hairstyle which is the lock right at the front. It will be your longest lock. That's the sassy lock girl. So you'll see me adding an extra piece of hair because you want to make sure that it goes past your collarbone. And you want to make sure you're constantly comparing it to the locks that are next to it because you want that nice clean asymmetrical line. You don't want the locks to be all sorts of different lengths and then people trying to figure out what happened and what went wrong and then you trying to figure out what also went wrong and why it didn't turn out right. So we don't want that at all. And once you got it to the right length, you could go ahead and start wrapping it back up. Now for the other side, you want it to fall in line with the back. So that hair will go right to the top of your shoulder. Give me one second. Okay, give me one second. I'm recording. Oh my gosh, everyone loves to talk when I'm recording. That's my sister. Watch till the end and I'll show you a clip of us. I'm taking closer. over. Oh. <clears throat> YouTubers. Come closer. This is not being recorded, recorded. It is. No, you can't add this on here. Hi, everybody. I'm Emma Jammies. <laughs> hey, YouTubers. I'm taking over Adia Sherelle. And I wanted to show you the lovely job that I have done on her locks, darling. I've been staying up all night doing this hairstyle. Um, no, I did the bottom one two three bottom five rows looks like she took it all out but <laughs> <laughs> the first three rows of failure next two rows of success yes you did a good job thanks <laughs> that was so weak oh and she is going to show you how to do the rest i helped set up the technique she thank you I did that. Uh, I am the uh, last. You didn't set up anything, girl. I know there was YouTubers set it up again. Okay. And set it off. <laughs> oh. Oh. Anywho. Hey, <laughs> Edited all that. So, that was point. It's an earthquake. But actually, it was the chair. The computer, the co it, we didn't shake. There oh, actually was an earthquake later that night. That, yeah, that